So we have both the kitchen garden, this one is Febreze, and we have Grow Your Own, and this is also Febreze. somewhere different today and because uh, the weather's so bad I'm up in uh, Essex near my allotment and uh, the weather's so bad down south so I uh, decided to stay the night over and uh, I'm in a very orange hotel so anyway just uh, got some magazines from Tesco's and I'm going to have a sit and read and I'm going to show you what's in the seeds for this month so let's have a look so we have both the kitchen garden this one is Febreze and we have Grow Your Own and this is also Febreze and they do look to have a good selection of seeds in these today so we should have a look and see what we got. Well, if we don't have a tripod, it could be a bit awkward. So you've got an extremely funny view. But anyway, let's open this one. First of all, we've got kitchen garden. So we should see what we've got in here. So we've got two packs of seeds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten packs of seeds. These are from Tesco's. If anyone's from the US or Canada, Tesco's is our local supermarket. And sometimes we get better packets of seeds from Tesco's than you do in other supermarkets such as Asda and such a so anyway let's have a look what we got so the first packet we got is beetroot I'm not going to tell you the name of that one this is uh, sowing in March to June July Next one we have is Leek, Blue Celeste, sowing from that is from January, February under glass in March to April. So that's one that can go in now. Another one is Herbs, Parsley, this one's from all year round, so all year round. So that's another one that can go in now. We got radish, French breakfast. This can be sown from March through to September. So uh, French breakfast three. Next one, cabbage, golden acre, prima three. This one can be done from February to uh, May. So in April, plant out April to June, harvest June to October. 500 seeds. That's not too bad, so that's not too bad for one set. And then on the next one, so a look. We've got peppers, mixed. Sweet, a variety of colours and shapes. So this can be sown from February to April. So that would be good. And lettuce, red salad bowl. I'm not done that one myself. Don't like the look of the red cabbage, red lettuce. 
Hmm. This can be seen from February through to July and plant out April to August. That's that one. And parsnips. We always knew you have to have a new seed of a uh, new packet of parsnips. This one's called Tender and True. Well, after my last disaster, I did actually get parsnip, which was about two inches long. And these can be sown from March to May. We're definitely going to get some of those this year. They look good. Definitely going to do that one. And another one we can do now. Well, this is April to July. This is carrots. This one is early nance. Two. Sweetly flavoured roots. So from April to July, harvest June to November. And lastly, not sure I really would want to do this, but tomato. Yellow delight. Delicious pear shaped fruit. Hmm. This one can sow from January to April, plant out April to June. I'm not sure I like the idea of yellow tomatoes. Mm, no, no. It just look like they're not ready. But anyway, that, that bunch. So that's Kitchen Gardens magazine, which is quite a few. Not a bad bunch at all. Out of all those, I would use one, two, three, four, not so keen on herbs, five, six, seven, lettuce, I'm not sure about this one. So most of them I use in the garden. Not as though I really need any more seeds though. I've got quite a few as it is. So there we go, that's that bunch there. So let's go on to the next one. So as we don't actually come with any facilities here, I've bought my own copy from the allotment and my cup. And as we don't even have a table, i to use this shelf here. So let's have a copy. Things you have to do to entertain yourself in a hotel. So anyway, we're now we're going for grow your own. This one is February. These normally come out first week of the month. Sometimes they come out the last couple of days the month before. So let's see what we've got in here. There's this offer here I've seen on the internet. Sutton's tin of pea, tin of seeds, worth £25. You get 10 packs of seeds with a free collectible seed tin for £4.99. You just pay the postage. I've seen this on Facebook. It looks quite good. Maybe worth a look at Sutton's website and see. Well, anyway, let's have a look at the seeds that they've got. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten lots of seeds. So the first one we've got is Celeriac, Celeriac. This one can be sown February and March. So we might have a go at that this time. I did get given one, but uh, we never actually used it, so didn't really know what to do with it. So, um, yeah, we should give that a go. Next one is cauliflower all year round. This can be sown from January. We've got some of this in the polytunnel, as you may have seen in the last video. Or if not, it might be the latest video to come out. So, Next one we have is 
tomato garden of delight that's normally a favourite wonderful tangy flavour this can be sown from April May so that'd be good one another herb I don't really into herbs oregano this can be sown from April to May and uh, the next one is spring onion this one is white Lisbon fresh salad onions this can be sown from March right through to September so that's a good one we should do that this one I've never done this one salad leaves crispy leaves blend these can be sown from well from now January the whole of them whole of the year to December add new combinations to your salad quick growing 40 days during summer months ideal in containers on the patio crispy lettuce leaves blend cut and come again so maybe worth a go spinach monopa that's how you say it this can be sown from March through to August that's not so bad might do some spinach this year radish cherry bell crisp and well flavoured this can be sown from March through to September crisp globular roots mildly flavoured suitable for indoor or outdoor growing crisp with a sweet flavour I did one lot of radishes last year wasn't really that fast really wasn't really sure what to do with them ended up with just radish on toast what do you do with your radishes? let us know uh, I, I, we got some of these down the, uh, the plot in uh, Surrey in an S in Surrey, yeah. This is Royal Chardonnay Carrot too. This can be sown from March to May. Little dinky. Heavy yields with sweet tasting carrots. Short stout carrots with orange red can't read it like all my glasses. Cores. Sweet crisp flavoured roots. High in vitamin A. An excellent all rounder. It doesn't see many in there though. And just say 500. And another one, parsnips. So we've got two lots of parsnips. This one being tender and true. And this one, white gem. Grows in any type of soil. Now that could be good for my clay soil. An excellent tried and tasted variety which is suitable for virtually any soil type. Medium soft skin rich or fine flavour. Good resistance to canker. Stores well for winter use. So there we go. White gem. So that's one, two, three, four, maybe salad leaves, five, not the other drama, six tomatoes. Seven cauliflower and eight celeriac. So there's eight that I will use. Not sure about these two. I have to say. But anyway, that's a summary of what's in this magazine. I'm going to take a picture of this to show you. And have a look at the Sutton's website for this offer. 10 packets of seeds. I'm sure it's uh, 4 99 for postage. Have a look and see. It doesn't say that. But you get a nice tin. There you go. So now I'm going to finish my coffee and uh, get some reading and get my head down. No windows in this room. I can't see what the weather's like 
but it was howling a girl when I came out. So, hope that helped you find that useful and uh, not done a magazine seed review for a little bit. So look back on uh, maybe January of last year and see what they did last year. So uh, yeah, okay. Thank you very much. ring the bell, get notifications when I post some more and uh, have a good evening, stay safe, hopefully all the uh, polytunnels and all your allotments are well over the stormy weather, stay safe, keep well, thank you very much, bye bye.